Living on the water, water rescues are inevitable. And today, members of the Clay County Sheriff's Office dive team invited us to take part in the training they do to make sure that they are ready to respond when they're needed. Last year, they had nine calls, which was high. This year, that number is down to three. On your says, Brownery Turner was invited to training and she talked with deputies and learned more about their diving tactics. This 10 member dive team are prepared for anything. They train monthly and on top of that, they have a new tool that they're using that's going to be a huge help in the future. It may seem odd seeing a diver in a pool, but this is all a part of training for divers with the Clay County Sheriff's Office. This diver is training to recover items such as guns, but in real life, the water is not this clear and there are a lot more dangers for these divers. And we'll start moving things around. We'll throw some objects in the water. They're going to be in what's called blacked out conditions, even though it's a pool and you will be able to see them and for safety, we'll have them with a, with a covering over their mask where they're not going to be able to see anything. Um, but our safety divers that are going to be in the water can monitor, can make sure they're doing OK. Sergeant Christopher Glenn says this year the team has found a body and brought up two cars. This year was mild compared to last year where the dive team were called out nine times and he says all the housing development is creating a bigger need for the dive team. And with the environmental impact of all the housings, they have to make all these retention ponds and detention ponds to help out with the water. Well, with that, that means retention ponds are getting close to roadways, retention ponds are in different areas, paths of least resistance for, for criminals to run and throw things into, as well as cars to unfortunately end up in. Sergeant Glenn says people should invest in a window breaker. It can go right on your keychain. So if you find yourself in your car in a retention pond, that safety tool could help you get out. I'm here in Clay County, Brianna Returner, First Coast News on your side.